48 hours and counting, a game that was actually talked about among fans eight weeks ago is about to become a reality. Welcome back to The Nation. I'm your host, John Devine, and seated next to me today is Carmel head coach Golden Anderson and Palma head coach Jeff Carnazzo. And in case you've been sleeping under a cardboard box, Palma and Carmel will meet on Saturday in the Central Coast Section Division Four title game at 7 p.m. at Monterey Peninsula College. A game for the ages? Well, we'll find out soon enough. But Golden, I want to go back a little bit into your past here. You actually attended Palma as a freshman, where you were the quarterback before transferring to Carmel as a sophomore. You told me, and Jeff, you probably don't know this, you nearly stayed at Palma because of this guy right here being a JV coach. Yeah, that, that was one of the things I was actually looking forward to, and uh, Coach Carnazzo was, I've known him since I was an eighth grader there, and he was actually the only person that ever called me when I was in the midst of my transfer, and, and I still remember that phone call trying to puck me in the stand and, and what we could do together, and uh Unfortunately or fortunately, I guess I, I moved on, and, and I think it worked out for everybody involved, and uh, here we are again. Jeff, do you remember that phone call? I do. I remember it. I remember it uh, like it was yesterday. <laughs> I, w- I looked forward to coaching Golden. I saw uh, some of the attributes that make him a fantastic coach and a, and a fantastic athlete back in the day, and I, I, I knew that he was going to be exceptional, and I was hoping to be able to coach him because I was a head JV coach at the time, but really disappointed when he left. And you told me before we got on here that you had to convert a guard into a quarterback? Like yeah, that? we did. We converted a guard, <laughs> a guard to quarterback the following year. So. <laughs> now, Golden, your program has been compared a little bit to Palma now in terms of becoming a, a power here in the last three years. Obviously, you have a little ways to go in terms of making it 28 straight postseason appearances. But your first three years as a head coach are comparable to what Jeff did in his first three years at Palma. I don't know if you look at it that way, but when you began this trek, I mean, were you looking at Palma maybe as a way to emulate a program, or did you have your own ideas? Well, I don't know if I definitely looked at them. It's pretty obvious what their program has been and what it's meant to local football, and I've seen that since I was a middle school student. And uh, it's great to be compared to that. Um, we didn't set out trying to be like Palma. We're a, we have a different set of circumstances and, than, than other public schools, let alone a private school. We're just trying to get the most out of the talent we have and uh, provide our guys a great opportunity sure. to have success. Jeff, when the brackets came out, did you think if you were fortunate to move on, this is who you'd be facing? Yes. Saturday? I mean, I've seen, <laughs> I've seen Carmel play. Uh, we saw them play Salinas High. We have film of them uh, against uh, North High when they played because we played North High too. And uh, I was quite sure that Carmel was going to, if we were lucky enough to go on, because you know, we had some tough, a tough game sure, also sure. right before Carmel to play. I was, I was pretty confident that they were going to sail through and do well. Now you've been in some big title games, obviously with Mitty, Oak Grove, St. Francis come to mind. But the magnitude and the hype of this game, it, it doesn't seem to compare. At least uh, you know they moved the site to accommodate more people. The time back, I mean, I've never seen a game get this much attention around here. Yeah, me neither. I mean, we've played in some big games, and the Oak Grove and the Midi games and the and the St. Francis championship game and, and Valley, but but uh, nothing, the hype of this, the excitement of my kids from from the moment that they found out that it was going to be Carmel. Uh, they, they've been enthusiastic and excited. And I, I, it's like I've said, I, I haven't seen it to this level in all the years. Your kids as well, at least some of the ones that have texted me. Yeah, we're excited. <laughs> I mean, uh, it's for the championship, and we know that, and it's two local teams. I think both programs represent everything that's good with high school sports. And, uh, yeah, our kids are excited. They, they know a lot of the guys. They've crossed paths in youth leagues, so it's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah. I'm going to bring these guys back for one more segment.